Tomorrow, we will get our first look at the Air Force's new stealth bomber, described as the most advanced military aircraft ever built. The B-21 Raider will be the first new bomber since the mid-90s. Joining us now, retired Air Force Lieutenant General Richard Newton. He commanded the first B-2 squadron, has flown all the bombers currently in the U.S. arsenal. General Newton, thank you so much uh, for being with us. So, so this thing will be unveiled tomorrow. Why would the Air Force publicize a new stealth bomber? Isn't the whole point for it to be a secret? Well, good evening, Nicole. Uh, actually, this aircraft has been in production for about seven years. For, a contractor was awarded to Northrop Grumman in 2015. So the timing of the unveiling of the rollout, which will be a Palmdale 42 in Southern California, which is the same uh, plant that rolled out the B-2 back in uh, November of 1988. So the timing is just about right now to, to unveil this aircraft. It's still veiled in secrecy in terms of some of the materials that go into the aircraft, the armament and other features of the aircraft. But it's now time to do that. The aircraft, uh, my sources tell me, will actually have its first flight uh, in summer of 2023. So it's a very exciting time, not only for the Air Force, but for our nation, this will be the most sophisticated bomber ever built, as you alluded to, the most sophisticated aircraft ever built. Uh, so it's very exciting times, and it's going to be tremendous payoff for our military capabilities. So, so do we know what some of the major upgrades are? Are those being released? There are. I mean, the B-21 is very similar to the B-2 stealth bomber uh, that I had the privilege to command uh, the first squadron back in the mid-90s or so. But it's it's uh, generally the shape's the same, but the power plants, the engines are different. Uh, there is certainly going to be, uh, it's, it's different in terms of weights and features, but also the differences in the extraordinarily stealth uh, capabilities that were based on earlier in the F-117 stealth fighter than the B-2, now the B-21. So those features will be unique. Uh, it'll have two pilots. Uh, and there's also a word that I haven't uh, really, my sources haven't really been able to divulge any of this, but it potentially could be unmanned, but that's for a later date. So there's a lot of very unique features that are going into this extraordinary airplane. Oh, you know, a lot of eyeballs will be on this. And presumably also that means some of America's enemies. What will they be looking for? Well, what they'll be looking for is the fact that you've got, again, the United States, and in this case, the United States Air Force and the defense industry is producing the most capable bomber, again, ever built, and that it will hold targets at risk anywhere in the world, 24-7, 365, all day, all night. But also the other features of this aircraft is it provides also uh, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities that that's a very you know closely held in terms of of what how it will operate in terms of a joint uh, command and control environment but the other aspect of this airplane is it's it's totally digital it has been built from the ground up in terms of of digital low observable capabilities that will provide uh our ability to upgrade the aircraft, not necessarily in terms of blocks, but uh, along the way in terms of, of mission sets and mission capabilities, particularly as the threats change or the threats get to be uh, more difficult. All right, well, you know, the proof is always in the pudding. Before we let you go, we wanted to do a little bragging here. Uh, General Newton, we want to take a look back at some throwback photos. Our own General Newton, who again flew all the bombers currently in the U.S. arsenal, as well as commanded the first B-2 squadron. General, uh, when were these pictures taken? This taken uh, back in uh, January of 1994. That was after my first flight in the B-2. Uh, it's our daughter, uh, Elizabeth, and our other daughter, Addie. She was eight, and Addie was uh, four at the time. Uh, it also points towards the importance of family members uh, supporting our men and women in harm's way. Uh, Addie is uh, married to an Air Force Special Operations pilot. Elizabeth's married to a gentleman who emanates out of, had, had emanated out of the intelligence community. Also, as you may know, my, my wife, Jody, passed away of cancer just recently uh, after 43 years of marriage. But I've, I, I'm now, and I've said all along, without Jody Newton, there is no General Newton. And so that, uh, that picture is, is very uh, important to me, but also important to those serving today that uh, the, particularly those in harm's way, that the family members are absolutely essential as well. Absolutely. You're making me a little teary here, General. Uh, we, our condolences certainly for the loss of your wife, Judy, and we thank you for your service and for your time. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.